Hello everybody, welcome back to Paint with Nate. I'm Nate, and this is Paint. And this is part 3 of my painting tutorial on doing meat pie, the fat ogre by Heresy Miniatures. Now, eagle-eyed viewers will notice that he has progressed somewhat since last time. I've gone I've done some boring things. Um, I've base-coated the fur there. In the cuffs and his loincloth fur, which is what I'm gonna paint next. So, base coating, you know, there's I've done nothing special there, it's literally just flat paint on the model. So, didn't want to bore you with that. Um, and also, painting fur can be a bit of a pain in the backside because you've got to make sure you get in all the little bits. So, I recommend using an old brush for that. Because you can really wreck a new one. So I'm going to start by doing the loincloth fur. Now you've noticed I've done all the fur different colours. Now this is just to keep the model interesting. So I'm going to do this as a wolf pelt. On shoulders as a bear pelt because that's a, be a scary big wolf. And it looks like a bear pelt. It's got claws. Like bears. And I'm going to do that kind of as a... Like a, a white, maybe a, a lamb's wool. So we're going to start with the wolf pelt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some bone colour, which is my base, and a bit of black. And I'll get my palette in shot here, which has been cleaned recently, which is why you can actually see tile. Right, so I'm not being very scientific about this. So I have a good dollop of a base coat. I'm going to then put a tiny bit of black in. Black's quite a powerful pigment, so you don't need a lot. There we go. There we go, so I want to start it with just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to then draw, uh, draw, paint a triangle, this now, for a start it doesn't look like I'm doing much, that's okay, that means I'm going to get a nice subtle transition. Another tiny bit. I'm not putting a lot on there. I uh, see. Right. Very quickly, you get a grayish color. So I'm just gonna paint next bit into that. Almost up the edge to where I started. Just kind of work the paint down. It's in all the cracks up, in all the crevices here. There we go. A bit more in there. I'm going to actually change brushes because I'm using a very high quality brush there. I think it's actually a bit overkill. I'm going to go to a, a nylon brush just because I don't want the fur texture to wreck what is a very good brush. Bit more. As you'll go on, you'll have to add a little bit more black to each each uh, stage, because uh, 
it starts to have less of a an impact. Oops. Try not to paint the belly of your guy. This is me being careless. Then if you're quite quick with this, you can effectively wet blend it in. Right, we're getting there, we're cooking now. So, I'm just working that triangle in now. One or two more, I think, because that's almost where I want it. Get a good dollop on there. Oops. All right, so I'm almost there. What I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a bit of neat black, dab that in, and because that paint's still quite wet, I can work that, just work it in. Right, so that's step one. Step two will be highlights. But I've got to wait for this to dry, so I'll see you in a minute. Right, that's nice and dry now. Thanks for waiting. Um, so now all I'm going to do is the entire pelt is going to get a dry brush of white. And so is my thumb. Right. This is just gonna unify it a bit more, give a little bit of definition. Give it a bit more depth. Lovely. Right. A little bit back. Right, and that's it for his loincloth. Uh, let's see what we do to shoulders next, eh? But I'll pause this one here and we'll start again on shoulders in a second. Hello, folks. I'm back to move on to the next bit of fur. I'm going to do the fur around his shoulders this time. So I'm going to go for a bear fur for this particular bit. Um, so what I've started out with is actually appropriately Army Painter Fur Brown, which is just a base coat on there. Like I said, I've not bored you with the particulars of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a standard dry brush and I'm going to Get some Vallejo Dark Flesh, which is exactly the same as Bronzed Flesh from um, GW. Give it a quick shake. Uh, 
page that looks pretty mixed and uh, this one I'm just gonna dry brush on but how I'm gonna do the dry brush is I'm only doing downward strokes as you can see So I want it to look like it's, you know, catching the light. Resist the urge to do sideways strokes because it starts making the, the lighting unnatural when you do it. Also, be careful not to dry brush over things you've already painted, which will spoil. Which is why I'm taking a little bit of extra care on getting near the edges of things. But keep it, make sure you just have a little bit of discipline. Because don't worry, next step will add that texture a bit. Ruby, almost there. Right, so so far that's looking pretty pretty good. It's not got a lot of depth to it, so I'm literally just gonna add a sepia wash. Well, Standard Sudo Sapir Wash, my Sapir Wash of choice. And this will just add a bit of depth to a bit of depth to the fur and uh yeah, maybe a bit more natural. It's nice when you've got a decent deep texture on a model like this, which, um, and he's really good for with his models. A lot of his sculpts, he, he, he goes for proper textures on models, which is great for you know, your, your, your high end paint, but it's also great you know, for your quick tabletop jobs. He's a very considerate sculptor like that. Don't know if he means to be, but he is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume he is, because he's a good guy, he's a nice guy. So um, I'm 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 always willing to think the best of him. He is the man who painted, who sculpted, sorry, um, my absolute favorite dragon of all time, the Heresy Dragon, which um, I've had the pleasure of painting one of. And if you have the chance of getting hold of one, if there's one available on the website or you see one somewhere, I urge you to pick it up. But anyway, this is about ogres and not dragons. And there we go. There is, once that's dry, that's going to look pretty good if you ask me. There you go. Nice, quick. Bear fur. Okay. Um, last one we'll be doing is the white fur around the cuffs. But that's for the next bit. So as promised, let's do this next bit. We're going to do the white fur around the cuffs. Now I've already started by 
base coating it in um, it is coat times horse tone gray, which is a lovely light gray. I'm just going to use coat times white. You don't have to use coat times white because it's white, but I'll coat times white. It's it's thin enough to not go patchy, but thick enough that you can usually get away with one layer. And how I'm going to do this is I'm literally going to just go in and paint paint all the individual bits. I'm not going to dry brush this because it's too fine and white often looks a bit, bit poor when you dry brush it I find. It looks very chalky. So I don't want it to be chalky, I want it to look furry. So I'm just going in and I'm just trying to catch the, the high areas. But the main thing I'm doing is I'm painting stripes. Just little stripes all the way along. So if some of them go in the recesses, it's alright. You'll get the effect you want. Make sure you let some of the uh, base coat show through. Because that's your shading. Because we're not going to ink this. Because, um, well, you're back to square one. If you want a bit more of a contrast, I would suggest you ink it first with a bit of thinned black ink and then and then do your white highlight because otherwise if you highlight white and then ink you're just going to end up with a, a light grey. I actually do want um, a bit of white in this. Lightens the model a bit, gives you a nice contrast. Right, there's one cuff done. Not really a lot to say here, sorry about dead air. Um one thing I will say is I am we've had some comments about angles so when people can stick the same in my hands. So I am doing my very best to try to keep the model in shot rather than my hand. So sometimes it's taking me a bit longer and Apologies if I'm going out of shot because I am kind of having to paint a bit, check the viewfinder, paint a bit more. Right, is that it? Oh, no. A little bit more. There's a good close of my thumb. And, uh,. There we are. There's the cuffs done. Yep, liking those. Cool. Right, well there's the fur done. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna do colour I'm gonna do is belly button hair yet. Well I'll leave that till last. See see what kind of colours we got going on and what we need. Alright. Next up I think we'll do the leather bracers. But that's for the next video. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please um, like it. If you haven't already, please uh, consider subscribing to your channel. It helps other people find the the program, and you know that would help Kev out a lot. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.